Kia ora. we're here today with Emma Powell, Chief Customer Officer of ACC, and we're going to be talking about levies. Now, we launched our levy consultation at the end of September, and we've been inundated with, with responses. So we've had several thousand comments and suggestions through, and there's been a number of key themes that have come through from the public, and we're going to discuss those themes today with Emma. Uh, and so what we're going to do today is, is to run through some of the key questions that we're getting. Um, so top of that list is the concern that we're not necessarily running a, um, a fair and open process um, and it's unlikely that the feedback that we get in is actually going to change our proposals. What do you think about that, Emma? Can I first say how delighted we are in the number of people that are submitting proposals um, and submissions to the levy consultation. We've absolutely smashed the numbers from the last time we went out and I think that just shows the genuine engagement that we're bringing but also the willingness and the interest from the New Zealand public to have their say. Um, what I would say though is that the consultation is 100% genuine. Um, it's part of a longer process where we gather in the feedback from New Zealand public um, that goes to our board. All of that feedback gets uh, worked through and analysed and, and brought into themes and all of that goes into the mix for the board to consider. Um, they take that really seriously as do we. Uh, those things come together to then go to the government and then the government ulti ultimately makes their decision on the levy rates and how we're proposing to collect them. Uh, we listen and we have listened. So in previous consultation, we particularly heard from our motorcycle community and a number of them saying, look, can you please recognise me for the safety efforts that I'm making? And so you'll see in our proposals this time round um, a suggestion that we would offer a rebate to those motorcyclists. Those were suggestions that we took specifically from the last consultation that we did. So another concern that's been raised is around off-road bikes and the fact that there's a high number of accidents reported with off-road bikes but of course they don't actually pay a registration fee. So isn't it unfair that other road users have to pick up the bill for that? So really importantly, uh, those accidents that occur on farms or off-road are not covered by the motor vehicle levy. We don't collect the funds for those injuries through that account. Um, those are occurring in different different places. So for example, on a farm, that's collected through the work account. Um, and importantly, actually, um, the work account levy is on average is going down by five cents um, per $100 of liable earnings. Uh, for other more recreational vehicle use, um, ATVs, you know, those that are, say, on the beach or somewhere like that, those are paid for through the earner's account. And what, what about um, push bikes? So obviously there's, there's uh, you know, I should imagine, more push bikes than there are motorbikes. And is it unfair that they don't pay their way? So importantly, um, again, uh, cycle um, injuries from, from bicycles um, on the roads, on the footpaths, various places, those all get paid for out of the earner's levy. So we are paying our way on those. Um, I think it's really important to remember also in contrast that for, for example, for motorcycle injuries, um, Last calendar year we paid over $94 million in claims for those and that compared to about $25 million for cycling injuries. And so again, um, whilst there may be more cyclists on the road, um, that the actual injury costs associated with those are much lower. So there are many people that have never made an ACC claim. Um, and is it fair for, for those people to contribute to ACC like everybody else? A lot of people think it won't happen to me. Uh, it won't happen to me today, but it very well might happen to me tomorrow, or it could happen to a loved one, your mum, your sister, um, a child. And over the years, ACC needs to collect enough funds uh, to cover the cost of injuries today and right into the lifetime as well. Uh, last year, we had over 1.9 million claims to ACC, which is pretty significant. It's almost half the population of New Zealand. A number of people access the scheme but may not even realise that they are doing that. So every time someone might go to their GP, they might front up at um, the emergency department or have an ambulance called out. Um, ACC is behind funding and ensuring access to those services um, for injured people. So a number of, um, of the public have commented on the 36 billion uh, of investments that ACC is sitting on and the injustice of, uh, of ACC going out there asking for even more money. What do you say about that? 
So I'd say two really important things in response to that. Uh, the investments that we have, and we're really fortunate that we have such a, a great investment fund, um, the performance of that investment fund has meant that we've been able to keep levies lower this time round than we would have had we not had such good returns from those investments. So they're a really important factor for how we manage the costs of the scheme. Um, secondly, the cost to uh, provide the treatment and care that we need to for injured New Zealanders can stem all the way back to the original claims that we received back in 1974. Uh, they, we need the funding to ensure that those claims are covered all the way through to their lifetime. You can imagine if a very young child is injured quite seriously, that ACC is with them for life. Um, some of those injuries and the care that we provide can cost over 20, 30 million dollars. Um, that is not insignificant. Um, and I think it's really important that people understand the totality of those costs and what it means today, but also what it means into the future. So why is there so much up and down in terms of the, the, the levy costs? ACC tries really hard to make sure that the levies are as stable as possible. We've heard from New Zealanders that that's really important. We do that in a couple of ways, by smoothing levy changes over a 10 year period. Um, and we also look to do our biannual levy setting so that New Zealanders know at least over the next two years what it is that they'll be paying. When we look at the other sorts of factors that drive costs up and down, ultimately, and what I would say to you and everybody watching, is that we would love the story to be different. We would love it if there were fewer injuries, um, fewer significant injuries, fewer kids um, with traumatic brain injury, fewer um, mums and dads hurting themselves through falls at home, various, various other injuries. That would be a terrific outcome. We think of those as factors that we can't control, but actually a number of us can control those preventable injuries. And we're investing more and more every year into injury prevention. A number of programs that we've got right across the country, um, both at a national and a community level, to try to turn the tide on the number of injuries uh, that are happening. So um, beyond what we've discussed today, do you have any final comments that you'd like to share? I'd just like to really reiterate how thrilled we are at the response that we're getting and we want more. So really encourage all New Zealanders to go to the shapeyouracc.co.nz website uh, and have your say. There's information there that will help to demystify uh, some of the proposals and the information about ACC. We all have a stake in ACC, this is our scheme. We should take a part in trying to shape the future of it.